Hey everyone, my name is Chris and I'm a coding nomad. Uh, today I want to talk about front-end development. I've been working as a front-end developer for almost three years now and sometimes I hear things um, from back-end developers. Things like front-end developers only style different buttons all day long and all they do is just style different things and it's a pretty simple job. But today, in this video, I want to talk about why front-end is actually harder than you think and maybe even harder than back-end. And I'll start with the visuals of the website. Since a lot of people assume this is the only thing we work on, in reality, it's just one of many concerns we need to handle. But the visuals alone can be complicated to build and you need to make sure that the website is fast enough, that it looks good on all different devices, which includes different sizes of mobile, different tablets, and desktop. Make sure everything you implement works smoothly and as expected on all major browsers. And if not, you need to write a polyfill so it is supported by all the browsers or find an alternative. If you have images on the page, you need to deliver the best quality possible, but also optimize them so they don't take forever to load. If you want to include animations on your site, it makes it even more difficult because you need to make sure it doesn't slow anything down, it doesn't look glitchy, and maybe even test it on a tablet and see how it behaves with a touch screen. Creating good quality custom animations can also take time to build to avoid any bugs and make sure they look good. Sometimes it's just easier to use a library for the out of the box stuff. But picking a library can also take time because you need to make sure that the library is up to date and has continuous support and no major issues. Uh, you also want to check if the library is too big uh, for your needs. For example, if you only want to have one animation that the library provides um, and it's too large for you, maybe it's best to create a custom animation so you don't have this heavy dependency. Also, if you use TypeScript, you probably want to make sure that the library has TypeScript support as well. If you want to implement dark mode, for example, it also comes with a bunch of other difficulties like making sure that the cotton is actually visible and easy to read and all the different details like different buttons and for example maybe little tooltips are visible enough and easy to use. My point is, great UI is difficult to build. And if you have a website with really complex logic and complex UI flows, it gets even harder. Starting from building it, optimizing it and refactoring the code and later maintaining it. Now let's talk about complex UI logic. It can be difficult because you need to handle different states, uh, manage and style complex data, and overall just improve user flow so it's predictable and easy to use. Debugging complex UI can be tricky and sometimes takes a lot of time. It's the front-end's job to handle any connection issues with the network. Sometimes it requires reinitiating requests that fail or timing out, but most importantly, you need to show a good UX for these situations. It includes showing a meaningful error or loading state. And don't forget handling different form errors, like validation for email, maybe there are some requirements for a password, like minimum length, uh, requiring at least one capital letter, one number. Display the right error for situations when users sent out too many requests and many things like that. You'll keep in mind that users can do pretty much anything on the website, which makes it even more difficult because it kind of makes you predict all possible variations that user can take. And of course, it includes preventing any unwanted behaviors or actions and making sure that the UI flow is easy enough to follow. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. And let me know in the comments if you agree with me or you have something else to add.